سامحوا لي يا سام فؤاد ساكن اللي يرحم الله من الجماعه العراقيه الكنديه اليوم احنا يوم 28 11 2019 جئنا الى جنيف مطار الامم المتحده الرئيسي سنلقي كلمه للاسف حتكون مدتها دقيقتين هذا اللي مسموح به نرجو انه نغطي المواضيع الكافيه اللي تخص ابناء شعبنا العراقي والعربي ان شاء الله اخوكم تعالوا President, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, my name is Hassan Saka, the President of the Iraqi Canadian Group Organization in Windsor, Canada. We have been helping the newcomers to Canada and info I have of my trips to Iraq and other countries helping the refugees and displaced people after the invasion of ISIS in Iraq and Syria. Displaced families fled away from their homes faced starvations, displacements, killed, tortured. Some of them were sold as a slavery and some raped. Most were minor minorities, Christians, Yazidis. A lot suffers from mental and physiological illness. A number of them have been accepted as a refugee under the UN program to Europe, United States, Canada, and other countries. Canada has welcomed many. Another 500 needing to come to Canada for the next two years. Over 200,000 will be from minority languages. These refugees need our inter international help and need more languages and educational programs for perfect resettlement. The world has ignored the situation in Iraq peaceful and unarmed demonstrators facing humanity crisis. Over 500 innocent were killed and over 12,000 injured by live bullets and expired smoking bombs usually used in military battlefield. We have to provide justice and fairness to the Iraqi people, women and children, so we don't have increased number of refugees. Thank you. Thank you. بالامس يوم 28 11 قدرنا نلقي كلمه دقيقتين فقط اللي كان مسموح بها اليوم 29 11 قدرنا نوصل التقارير كامله الى مكتب رئيس مجلس الامن في جنيف. نتمنى انه سفرتنا الى جنيف هالمره تكون بها نتيجه قويه ان شاء الله.